This man turned himself in one hour after our story about a library attack airing on 10 News at 6 o'clock. Why deputies are disputing claims they didn't do enough to help the man who had to defend himself. Live from the Script Studios, this is San Diego's news source, 10 News. 10 News gets more action. Our story led an accused attacker armed with a box cutter to turn himself into police. Tonight, the man attacked is grateful. And 10 News reporter Ashley DiMartino found out why police are sorry. Yesterday afternoon, while 10 News cameras were rolling during Ryan Schofield's interview, the man he claimed attacked him walked right behind him. Call the police. Call the police. According to a lieutenant at the Lemon Grove Sheriff's Station, after our story aired, the suspect walked into the station and told them that he was the man on TV. He then turned around and walked out. Sheriff deputies then caught up with him back at the crime scene. Encountered the subject themselves, and because they got a partial statement from a witness at the library, we were able to uh, make an arrest. Very relieved. I was uh, happy. The suspect is now being held at the county jail on charges of brandishing a deadly weapon. Schofield didn't feel that the sheriff's department responded in an urgent matter to his initial report. I told him I wanted to file a report that a man in a library pulled a switchblade on me. And they said, well, did you threaten him, intimidate him at all? When we spoke to deputies this afternoon, they claimed that Schofield walked away during questioning, so they were not able to complete their report. I'm sorry Mr. Schofield had to go through so many different problems just to get help, but I think that it's important for the general public to know that we take everything that's said to us seriously. I'm really glad that Channel 10 would take the time to investigate it and listen to what I was saying. Ashley DiMartino, 10 News.